In Revit, we have the ability to automate the positioning of certain elements uh, to follow some basic rules. So, for example, if we zoom in on this door here, um, let's say that we always want this door to be centered between these two walls, but we're not sure exactly where the position of this wall is finally going to be. We may need to adjust it. But we can in fact set this door so that it's always centered between the two walls and to do that we use dimensions so if i go to the annotate tab and align dimension select the first wall now you might need to use the tab key to pick out the the face of the wall or where you need to to reference to so i'm going to click there so that's the first reference now we need to pick up the center of the object itself, in this case a door. Now you can see if I hover over slowly, it's picking up the center of the door element. So that's my second click. And finally, the other wall, again using the tab key to get the face of the wall. Click, and one more click, not on an element to place the dimension. Now the trick to getting this door to automatically position itself is to turn on this EQ symbol so that the two sides here are always equal, these two dimensions. At the moment they are, but that's just sort of by chance. Um, you can see if I move the wall as it stands, the door doesn't move. But if I go back, click on the dimension to highlight it, so we've got access to that EQ symbol. It's currently got a red line through it, striked out, so they're, they're obviously not equal. Click on it to force them to be equal, and they will remain so by themselves. So I can now go ahead, and let's say we're developing our design and we're tweaking the position of this wall, and the door follows suit. Now, <clears throat> If you've added that dimension just purely to control position that door, you may not want that to appear on your view. You can, in fact, select it, delete. You'll get a warning from Revit saying that the dimension that you're deleting contained a constraint. Do you want to keep the constraint in place even though the dimension itself is being deleted, which in this case you do. So you just go ahead and hit OK. If you wanted to actually take away that auto centering, i.e. the constraint, then you would choose this other option, unconstrained. But it's assuming that you want to keep the constraint that you've just placed, but you just don't want to see the dimension itself. So go ahead and click OK. And now we've still got that auto centering behavior without the dimension needing to be shown.